What's going on guys? Um, a story just broke and it's not really football related or Manchester United related but it's WAG related. So for those of you who don't know, WAG is a footballer's wife and basically this is Colleen Rooney versus Rebecca Vardy um, and this is absolutely nuts. I think it's the utter, the most disgraceful betrayal of all, um, I actually can't believe it myself, but I'll get right into it. Um, so Colleen Rooney came out this morning with a tweet saying, this has been a burden in my life for a few years now, and finally I've got to the bottom of it, dot, 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 dot. So there's a big speech and I'm gonna read it to you. So Colleen says, for a few years now, someone who I trusted and f to follow me on my personal Instagram account has been consistently informing the Sun newspaper of my private posts and stories. There has been so much information given to them about me, my friends, my family, all without my permission or knowledge. After a long time of trying to figure out who it could be for various reasons, I had a suspicion. To try and prove this, I came up with an idea. I blocked everyone from viewing my Instagram stories except one account. Those, sorry, bracket, those on my private account must have been wondering why I hadn't been posting stories for a while, end bracket. Over the past five months, I've posted a series of false stories to see if they made their way to the Sun newspaper. And you know what? They did. The story about gender selection in Mexico, the story about returning to TV, and the latest story about the basement flooding in my new house. It's been, a, it's been tough to, sorry, repeating. It's been tough keeping it to myself, and I'm not making any comment at all, especially when the stories have been leaked. However, I had to. Now I know for certain which account slash individual it's come from. I have saved and screenshotted all the original stories which clearly show just one person has viewed them. It's dot 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 Rebecca Vardy's account. Whoa, I was not expecting that. When reading through this post, I, I read through and then at the end when it, when it, I didn't think they were going to name and shame this person. I didn't think Colleen was going to just put them on blast. And you know what? Fair play to her. I, I actually, I respect her for doing that because what a betrayal that is letting someone into your private life so much into the private account you know these people are kind of friends and to be betrayed by your friend like that i just think it's absolutely disgusting so when it's ended with it's rebecca rebecca verdi's account i actually just dropped i was like whoa that is insane anyway of course rebecca verdi had come out about 30 minutes later with her response so this response I actually do you know what? it doesn't surprise me that she responded in this way but anyway let's get into it so this is Rebecca Vardy's response as I have said to you on the phone I wish you had called me if you thought this I never speak to anyone about you as various journalists have asked me over the years can you vouch for can, sorry can vouch for if you thought this was happening, you could have told me and I could have changed my passwords to see if it stopped. Over the years, various people have had access to my Insta and just this week I found I was following people I didn't know and have never followed myself. I'm not being funny, but I don't need the money. What would I gain from selling stories on you? I liked you a lot, Colleen, and I'm so upset that you have chosen to do this, especially when I'm heavily pregnant. I'm disgusted that I've even have that I'm even having to deny this. You should have called me the first time this happened and a broken heart emoji. I don't know what to say to that response. I just think she's throwing the the pregnancy card out like okay, you do not need this stress when you're pregnant. I do understand that. But you know, like what was she going to do? Colleen is very, she, when people are attacking her publicly and when things are happening like that, she does put people on blast and she does have to publicly tell people because that's, she's in the public eye and all these false stories that come out again about Colleen Rooney, it's so, it's always happening, it's always happening, so I don't know how she deals with it. So for, to find out that your friend, someone who you have let in to your private life, has been doing that, you know, you've been caught out. Pregnancy or no pregnancy, she has to call you out. 
in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> and then, yeah, throwing the, oh, well, people have had, had access to my account. Could have been anyone. You should have told me this after the first time it happened. What? You've been caught out numerous times. The first time it happened, she obviously has to figure it out and give you the benefit of the doubt. Right, we'll try it again, try it again. Tested, trialed, gone on for months, maybe years. I don't know how long. But you've been caught out. You have been. And to saying, oh, your account is following people you don't know, just own, own your shit. If you're going to do that, clearly you don't need the money. We know that. You're rich. Great. But maybe that's just the type of person that you are. I don't know. I, I'm actually, I'm baffled by this. I really can't believe it. Um, I hope Colleen is all right because that is absolutely horrible. Horrible. Um, and of course, Rebecca Vardy, heavily pregnant. I hope the pregnancy goes well, I hope everything is okay, but at the end of the day, you did a really shit thing. Um, and in my opinion, I don't believe the bullshit response, but that's just me, maybe you do, maybe maybe it was someone else, um, but I, I don't know, I don't know. You'd have to be very, very careful with your account, and if there was suspicious activity, I think Rebecca Vardy would have noticed also. People would have, you know, you know when someone's been hacked. You know when someone is up to things on your account. Um, you know, it's pretty clear. Your messages would have been read. You're, you know, you would miss notifications and stuff. I don't buy it. I do not buy it for a second. And I just I just feel so sorry for um, Colleen Rooney, to be honest. Anyway, guys. So, you know I like to do gossip videos occasionally. Um, and for, for this one to come out today, I just thought... I have to do a video on this because I just find it absolutely nuts. So I want to know your thoughts on this. Um, are you Team Colleen or Team Vardy, uh, Rebecca Vardy? I want to know your thoughts on this. So drop a comment in the video. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and I will see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.